rational numbers, groups of numbers, subtraction of numbers, division operation, writing rational numbers. Dear students, today we are going to learn a kind of numbers known as rational number. Group of numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. These are in a group of natural numbers. And 0 with these natural numbers are in a group of whole numbers. A group of all positive numbers, 0, and all negative numbers are integers. Did you all understood? Yes! Now, let us add two natural numbers, say 50 and 34. We get sum of 84, which is also a natural number. If we multiply these two natural numbers, we get product 1700, which is a natural number too. It means if we take any two numbers from group of natural numbers and add or multiply them, we get new number which is also a natural number. If we add two whole numbers, we get some a whole number. Similarly, if we multiply the whole numbers, we get the product again a whole number. The addition of two integers is also an integer. And if we multiply two integers, we get the product an integer too. Subtraction of numbers. When we subtract a natural number from a natural number, do we get difference always a natural number? Or if we subtract whole number from a whole number, do we get always a whole number? The answer is not always. If we subtract 17 from 25, which are natural numbers, we get the difference 8, which is also a natural number. But what if we subtract 25 from 17? we get minus 8, which is from a group of integers. The difference between any two integers is always an integer. In the shown example, minus 18 and 7, both are integers, and their difference minus 25 is also an integer. Division operation Dear students, in a group of integers, we find whole number as well as natural numbers too. Therefore, let us see division operation on integers. If we perform 30 divided by 6, we get 5 because 6 into 5 is equal to 30. If we perform minus 117 by 13, we get minus 9 because 13 into minus 9 is equal to minus 117. Can we divide 18 by 7? No, we cannot because we cannot get 18 if we multiply 7 with any of the number. If 0 is divided by any number, we know the answer is 0. And we cannot determine the answer of 0 divided by 0. In the examples, 30 by 6, minus 117 by 13, 18 by 7, and 0 by minus 19 are written in the form of a divided by b and b is a non-zero integer. We call such number as rational numbers. The definition of a rational number is if a is any integer and b is any non-zero integer, then a by b is called as a rational number. Is 12 a rational number? Yes, it is. Because we can write 12 in the form of a by b as 24 by 2 or 48 by 4 or 36 by 3 and so on. Can we write minus 4 in the form of a by b? Yes, we can write 4 as minus 8 by 2 or 12 by minus 3 or minus 48 by 12 and so on. Therefore, Every integer which can be written in the form of a by b is a rational number and hence 
all integers are continued in the group of rational numbers. Writing rational numbers Dear students, we can write minus 6 in the form of e by p in the two ways, either minus 30 by 5 or 30 by minus 5. But when writing rational numbers, we consider denominator as a positive number. Hence, generally minus 6 write as minus 30 by 5. Summary Dear students, in this lesson we have learned Group of numbers Subtraction of numbers Division operation Writing rational numbers So, that is all in this chapter students. Math is a fun, so keep learning.